Hey guys, how's it going? Can you hear me okay? It says no one. I, uh, this is a very big surprise. Uh, I didn't plan on doing a live stream, but I am in the midst of going through all my stuff and uh, figured, why not, why not just jump on for a little bit? We'll, we'll hang out here for a little while, see if anybody jumps on. But um, yeah, kind of excited. I've been prepping everything. I got the trike ready to go. It's all ready to go. Hey, six people. Hi. Hi, hi. I'm at my friend's house, and uh, today I am uh, just prepping everything. Can you hear me okay? Nicholas, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I got a microphone, actually, on my... Uh, oh. How about that? Is that better? That should be better. I have this, this microphone that plugs into uh, my, my phone. How is it now? Yeah, it should be fine. I was trying this. I think because I have a case on my phone that this wasn't going in all the way, and so it wasn't uh, it wasn't giving you the the good stuff. So I, I I'm I'm not uh, I'm still not uh, uh, discounting the fact that that is probably a pretty nice microphone. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully in the future, if you listen to this, you don't get scared away by the uh, crappy sound in the beginning. Uh, this is my dad, uh, my dad, my friend's house, and uh, I'm going through all my stuff. And it's not a bicycle, it's a tricycle. But yeah, it's all set up, it's ready to go. I, uh, I changed everything on it uh, last couple of days. It's got new shocks, it's got, I'll show you in a little bit. Um, but yeah, here, let me, let me walk you around. For those of you just just uh, just joining, my name is Matt. I am cycling around the world from China all the way to the USA through a hundred countries for the next decade or so, and uh, I've taken a quite a long break. Uh, first of all, to do a bunch of stuff in uh, in the USA and then be with Annie and uh, and Eva and whatnot. But right now, um, uh, I came back to fix up the trike and do some things to it, and uh, now I'm sorting through all my stuff. There's a whole bunch of stuff here I brought from the USA. There's a bunch of like, re I bought these in the USA, these um, Eagle Creek bags. These are really, really lightweight, good stuff. And so I'm, 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 talk I'm thinking like about how to compartmentalize my stuff the best way possible. So I'll put everything in lightweight bags separated. The bags don't weigh anything. They're very light, but I, I wanna really, really work on organizing my stuff so that when I get to a camping spot or when I get to a hotel or a hostel or something, I can very easily um, kind of go through it and uh, you know, be set up. So I'm, I'm kind of, I have all my, uh, my camera stuff and my road mics and my GoPro hardware. This is my trike, uh, my trike box. So if I need to do a, a tire change or uh, remove a tire or a tube or um, uh, Adam oh 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 Adam Hugo just messaged me <laughs> he uh, gave me a thumbs down for something I f kind of forgot what I was talking about anyway hey Black Lives Travel how's it going man is that a house with a lazy Susan couch with is that yeah the lazy Susan couch yeah yeah it's pretty cool actually Kind of a funny thing I, I was thinking about is tomorrow maybe I was thinking about taking all the couch and everything and moving it off and then putting the trike right in the middle and then this whole thing tr rotates and I could rotate the trike and get like a cool video of this whole thing rotating um, like uh, Oh, not that one. Maybe the wrong one. Oh, should be one. What's, what's wrong? There we go. It's pretty cool. But if I put the trike right in the middle, I might be able to get a really, really cool rotating shot of the trike that I don't think there'd be any other way to do that. Like a rotating... 
how, how often am I going to have the chance to have a rotating thing like this? I might even make a video with all my gear laid out on this thing and just rotate it around. And uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. You, you, that dog. You want to see what that dog did to my gear? That dog took my, uh, my, one of my side bags and he just chewed the crap out of it. I didn't even realize it, but he had, he was chewing it. He chewed off the little stubby ends there that, that are my shoulder straps. Luckily, I don't really use my shoulder straps very much. He chewed off my, my, my strap here that I normally open the lid with. So that's gone. See, that's, yeah, I'll show you what he, this is, I have two of them. So he's chewed off my, my shoulder strap thing and he chewed off my lifting lid uh, thing. So frustrating. Anyways. That dog frustrates me. And, and the, the, the dog, I, I don't know if you know this, but that dog, all it wants to do is, is uh, throw a ball. It wants me to throw a ball. That's it. Nothing more. In entire life, that's all he wants. Like, I think 90% of his day, waking day, is, is putting a ball in front of me and making me try to make me throw it. Anyways, hi Christian. How are you? Hey, Christian Antonson. Uh, maybe try turducken, the tiger duck. Maybe try to turducken the, the trike to save space. Let me show you what I did here. So uh, this is the box from HP. And let me show you a couple of things that uh, I changed on it. I am not gonna throw that ball. No way. Anyway, these are the original uh, uh, shocks, right? And they were kind of toasted. This one's not so bad on the inside, but the other one is pretty toasted. And uh, the reason being is it normally has these, these um, protective boots here, but um, over time, they sort of split so you can see that. And so um, I put new ones on the new struts. So we've got new, uh, new protective boots there, new, uh, new uh, struts and shocks. There is one strange thing though. Here, let me, hold on, let me, let me go here and then show you the problem I'm having with this side. So uh, this side is um, just like the other side. I did the exact same thing, but let's see if you can hear it. You hear that? I don't know what that is. I took the whole thing apart twice. I mean, you actually take this piece off. You There's a spring and a, and a whole bunch of loaders in there. You have to remove the the brake and the tire and everything, everything you gotta take off in order to get at it. But there's something in there, I, I, or there's something, I don't know if it's just really snug, like it could be just really snug, but, and just to give you a comparison, this is the other side, and uh, this is the sound it makes. You see? The only sound you heard just now was actually from the other side creaking as I was uh, pushing this. There's no sound here. Zero, zilch. So I don't know. I don't know what it could be. It's a little bit, a little bit unnerving. I wrote it today. It rides great, but that side is a little bit uh, stiff or something. Show you what else I changed. I changed all these tubes and uh, and changed all of these tubes. The old ones were 
just caked with, with stuff. Here, let me see if I can show you the old one. So you can't really see, but it's totally gunked up, so full of, of old grease and grime and oil that is hardened in there. It was really bad. Um, but uh, here, let me check something. Annie just sent me a message. Let me check my messages here. Close your heart, don't let daddy run out. Yeah, I want to run out. Run out to where? Uh -uh, to Apple Store. And then? Then the tower will play. Stinker dinker. Eva's missing me quite a bit, and uh, I was talking to her just now on, uh, on, uh, uh, we chat and she's like I miss you I want you to be here I said well if you go to sleep as soon as you sleep and have your dream I'll come and see you and uh, as soon as I hung up she was trying to sleep and she's told what did she say it's very cute she said that she's feeling it and her heart is very fast this all work is she, what she said I just I just give it to you because she won't talk to you direct so her heart is very fast, waiting for me to join her in the dreams. <laughs> She's so cute. Anyways, uh, that's a good idea, sw swapping the, um, the inner hardware from one side to the other. That's a pretty easy solution. I could probably do that pretty quickly uh, without too much trouble. And then that would, act that would actually be a good thing for me to at least try. Thank you. Thank you. I'll give that a go. If that shows me something, then, then that's great. Thank you very much for that suggestion. Uh, what else did I do? Um, I changed the shifter here. So now I changed the shifter and uh, it goes all the way back over to here. And this is where the shifter goes to. So I did all of that and uh, I learned a lot actually changing that shifter and the cabling. I uh, did up my brakes. I have new brakes. They're TRP spires, or spikes, I mean. So there we go. So spikes. And the great thing about these brakes is that they're dual compression. So the disc actually is pressed by both sides. I didn't have both sides before. It was just pressing on one side, and the other side was stationary. So now I have a two-sided. I changed my parking brake which is great. This is a really, it was, this one I had was getting really nasty and I can tell the difference. I mean, that is a solid uh, parking brake now. So I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, super, super cool. I, I've been playing my Bluetooth speaker and uh, how do you feel your time at the factory help your repairs? I'll tell you what, um, I was thinking about that today. Um, the fact that I was, uh, I was doing all this work on the trike and thinking, man, I should be able to do it a little bit faster because I'd already done this stuff. I built this trike twice, you know? Hey, Sam, how's it going? Is this more time for you? Is this, is this a better time to do a live stream? It's kind of a surprise, but I figured I'd jump on. Drop me a like too if you like this video. And if you want to support me as I travel around the world, you can look below, there's a Patreon link. And all that fun stuff. Anyways, <laughs> and my Patreon has something really cool. I do an audio podcast on my Patreon every day, basically. And uh, I, uh, hey, Nicholas, thank you. I, I saw you talking about throwing the ball. I'm not going to throw the ball for the dog. As a matter of fact, the monster is sleeping right now. And I don't want to, uh, I don't want to disturb him. I've gotten three rabies shots already because of him and, and tetanus shots. Once I have those rabies shots, though, I, uh, I can, uh, I, I'm inoculated from rabies for, um, for uh, five years. So it's pretty good. Sorry if I don't talk too much. Uh, I'm at work, but I'm here always supporting you. Thanks, Sam. Appreciate it. Anyways, uh, I had built this trike, but... I was always uh, with 
this, the factory, you know, I was at HP in Germany when I built it. And even I brought it home to, the, to Ningbo and I, I built my first trike really from scratch, but um, most of it was pretty well assembled. It was just a pretty simple thing. This, what I did over the last couple of days was extremely, um, extremely uh, uh, like a learning experience. I was able to diagnose things and try things and I got into the meat of the, of the shocks and the struts and the, and the cabling and I'd never, I never cabled the, um, the brakes and I never cabled the uh, roll off system and the shifting system myself. Um, I was watching other people do it, but doing it myself was was good. It was good. I bought a bunch of, uh, you see the white on the tires here, the little white strips and stuff. I bought, uh, when I was in the USA, I bought the helmet, and with the helmet they gave me a package of these really, really nice reflective decals. And I, I don't know what's gonna happen when I ride around, but it, it should, these are very super reflective. So, hey, Greens, how's it going? <laughs> hey, that's me. So I put uh, reflectors here on the tires. This is already reflective, uh, but this one is new, so I didn't have that sticker for it, so I put some reflectors here, put a reflector here, reflectors on the tire there. I have reflectors, I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna do the back of this fender because people can see that, actually. I, I'm, I'm just trying to, put reflectors here, I'll put reflectors here, and then uh, I put some reflectors here. So I'm thinking, and then this is a reflective line here. So when the uh, cars uh, drive by, or like uh, I take a flash, like if I was to flash photography this, all the reflectors will pop out. It should be pretty cool. I also have this uh, light that I normally take with me um, and keep in my bags, and I decided to not just leave it in the bag now. So I'll actually leave it on my flag there. So, um, <laughs> oh yeah, my antenna acrobat guys. Those are my yellow. I made these when I was 16 years old. This is my first business. I created these little plastic guys. I call them antenna acrobats. And they uh, go on this boat, made for car antennas. But I brought a few from the USA when I was visiting last from, I have like fucking thousands, excuse, pardon my French, I have like thousands of them in the, in the USA in boxes, and so I figured I'd take a couple. Hey, Nancy, good morning. But yeah, yeah, so I'll, I'll have this light just in case, you know, I go through a tunnel or something. But it takes batteries, not batteries. It's got, it could charge it with a USB, but, um, you know, I don't think that, uh, I, I don't know when to turn it on. I always go through the tunnel or go through a place when I need it, and then I find out I should have turned a light on, or I'll turn it on, I'll forget to turn it off. That's why having the uh, dynamo is good. My tire here, when it spins, it charges a dynamo, which powers the front t headlight and the rear tail light. And the rear tail light actually uh, redid the connectors here for it, which were all corroded and crappy. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go to an electrical shop and buy some of those, uh, they're like uh, heat, heat activated uh, shielding. So you just basically put these in the, the heat and then you put a lighter and then they shrink wrap around uh, and protect these connectors. So that's cool. Here, you wanna see? It's kind of neat. So I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the tail light. So when I turn the, did it turn on? Did it work? I don't even know if it worked. Should have worked. Yeah, there we go. So as long as I'm going, it's working. And then I have the front one. The front one, I don't know why the front one stays on. The, the back one doesn't stay on. The front one's really bright. So it's like a, like a, uh, like a, uh, um, what's that called? That really, really bright light. What's that really, really bright light called? Uh, not xenon. Anyways, it's, it's really cool. Yeah, shrink tube, shrink tube. I have another light here. I actually have two of these, but this one's toast, actually, because as soon as you unplug it from the power, it goes off and it won't take a charge. It won't turn on. 
I never used it either. It's a, I guess halogen is the word I'm looking for. It's like... I'm still, I'm back. Am I back? Tell me when you can... The internet's normally good. I think I'm like nearing the end of my, uh, I think I'm nearing the end of my f uh, 4G uh, service or something. I don't, I don't know. You see me? Just audio? I'm back. Okay, good, good, good. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, the light. There's a name for that light. I can't, whatever, not, a, not important. Looks like one of those uh, that does, when it does when you unplug it, when you're done with the trike, it should go to the Smithsonian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Oh, you wanna hear a funny story? So um, I carry with me um, some stuff for the inside of my legs. Basically, when I'm riding, this area right between my crotch, they, they rub, like the two legs rub together and I end up getting a really, really bad rash. And um, so I have this like, it's not like body glide. It's like some, maybe, I forget, uh, but it's just a B-U-T-T -T in it. Something butter anyways. But uh, here's the container of it. I actually scooped it out and put it in this, in this container I got from, this is on it. Professional Gauge Digestive Enzymes. I bought this stuff, never even tried it. Stupid. Anyways, um, so it's just, it's just cream, basically, you can put between your legs so that the friction can be distributed and it's not, it's not rubbing and generating so much heat. But I was in, I don't know, Taiwan or something? It was a very long time ago. I was in a bike shop, I didn't have that, and I saw a uh, package. It was, it was like a deodorant, it looked like deodorant. Here, hold on. Looks like deodorant, right? And, um, I went to the guy at the bike shop and I'm like, is this, is this like a slide, you know? Butt butter, that's what that is, that's butt butter. I, I said, is this like that stuff, slippery, you know? Yeah, 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 so I bought it. And it says, it's, it says German on the, it's German on the back. So, can you read that? It's not focusing on that. Anyways, it's German on the back, I didn't know what it was. Well, today as I was going through my stuff, I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try it, and if it, if it works, then maybe I can incorporate it into my kit, or I was thinking it might be easier to carry this around as opposed to carrying that <laughs> container of goo, you know? So I took it, and I went in my crotch, and I was just like I mean, I went to town, and I was like, I'll walk around this room, and then I'll just test it out, you know? And we'll just see, you know, if my legs are sticking together because I'm sweating or whatever. And, uh, and so I was walking around. It didn't take me long to realize that it's not, it's not run, glide, running glide. It was icy hot, like a German super duper powered icy hot. And so I, I was, it was caked all up in my crotch. Hey Steve, how's it going, man? And uh, so I had this stuff. Holy shit! My balls were on fire. My ass was on fire. My legs were on fire. I was, <laughs> I was burning. So I, I run to the, I run to the bathroom, and I get in the shower, and I'm like stripped down, and I start like showering down, and like Ben Gay. It's like, it's like, but super powered Ben Gay. I know my dad used to put Ben Gay on all the time. This stuff was like, uber Ben Gay. So I'm showering, but the water touches it, and it like chemical, chemically reacts to the water, and it just gets super hot. So the, 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 uh, the, the icy hot feeling turned into hot, hot, and then burning hot, and then, oh uh, yeah, thanks, thanks Richard. Telling me it makes it worse now doesn't really help. Didn't help me a while back. <laughs> Hey, uh, what is the Terra Trike flag being held by? Um, what do you mean held by? I've got two flags. This one is 
custom made. I don't think Terra Trike even sells it. We, the, I showed them how big I wanted it and they kind of designed it for me. It actually has a connector here that pulls the flag on. So it, this flag will never come off. It's fantastic. And this one goes right into my seat. And uh, if you can see, like, like I am this tall, so it's actually above my head. I'm, I'm like 188 centimeters. I'm like six foot two. So this is just about higher than anybody could possibly be even on a bike. And uh, this one is the one that you can buy on T-Cycle, actually, if you want to support the tour and you want to have a flag. These flags are amazing. The material is, is uh, really, really good quality. It's got the reflective. This is reflective here. Honestly, if you turn the lights out and take a flash picture of this trike, it'll shine like crazy. And this one goes into the luggage rack. Um, the two flags actually work in tandem. This one does this, right? And these tassels will flail. So this one does this. And then this one does this. It goes side to side when I'm going fast. So it goes side to side, that one's up and down, this one's side to side, or this one's back and forth, this one's side to side, and I end up getting, I get a pretty good uh, visual uh, footprint when I'm, when I'm riding, so it's pretty good. 172, Sam? Cool, man, cool, cool. Anyways, so yeah, so that's my flags. And I'm okay now. It just took a little time for my my cojones to cool down, but I'm good, good now. I have an orange, yellow, Jayo flag. You do? Awesome, Neil. Did you send me a picture? You might've sent me a picture. Yeah, I, got, I, got, I got good people out there. All y'all are good people. But anyways, I'm a little shock. I'm gonna take them apart and I'm gonna swap the hardware that's inside. That's a great idea, thank you. We'll see if that fixes anything. I need to do something. I don't wanna, I don't wanna leave this house because this has been great. I've been able to do my stuff here at the house. It's air conditioned. I've got a fan up there. I will use the air conditioning. It's just really nice during the day if all the, all the doors are closed and I can have the fan on me and I just work on the trike. I was thinking like, for what I've done with the trike, this place has been perfect because ordinarily you'd have uh, a hostel or a hotel or somebody's house that you're staying at and they're not gonna want you to open your trike and spread everything out. But Randy, the guy, my friend that owns this place, he, he, uh, he's not here. I know I'm not inconveniencing him. I'm cleaning up after myself. Like I've scrubbed that floor on my hands and knees like 10 times because you know, you drop something out like some grease or something. And I've, you know, really made sure not to leave a mark and sure not to leave a mark. As, as a matter of fact, when I leave here, it's gonna be cleaner than when, I, uh, than, I, than when I arrived, I think. Um, where is that house? Where are you? Well, I'm in Hua Hin, Thailand, south of Bangkok by a couple of hours by bus, uh, 200 kilometers south of Bangkok. I actually cycled from Bangkok here a number of months ago, uh, my last ride. It was a 200 kilometer ride, exactly, like 200 kilometers from Bangkok, leaving the hotel hostel to here. So yeah. Um, but it's been really convenient to be able to spread all my shit out. I've got my tent out there that's airing. It hasn't, hasn't really been in air for quite some time. And I, I had my, uh, my sleeping bag all opened up. Oh, I got a new sleeping mat. You wanna see it? I, I did not expect to uh, do this live stream. So, um, so let me open this. I didn't expect to do a live stream today. I had everything everything out. I'm gonna go give you a tour of everything here actually, just show you kind of generally what I have. Um, but uh, fart sack, the, the sleeping bag's the same. What I have new is a sleeping bag. I had, hold on. So this is my uh, original sleeping bag and this is Sea uh, to Summit. It's good quality. Hold on, I gotta check my messages. Okay, Eve is out, Eve is sleeping. Okay, so this is a, uh, this is a C2 Summit sleeping pad, and I bought the one that is, want me to blow it up? I'll blow it up. It blows up pretty quick. So after a long ride, uh, it's not like 
crazy pain in the ass to set up. about 10, 10, 10 breaths. So this is the, the one from, from Sea to Summit. The problem is that I thought I was saving space, saving space by getting like the rounded edges, but I roll off this thing all the time. It's really, really good material. And I like this kind of puckered um, setup, the way that they kind of, it's like a couch almost. What's that style of couch? have the buttons in it but it, it allows you not to have to like if the buttons weren't there and it was more like maybe I, I know that th Therma Therma Rest act, Therma Therma Rest actually has more hey thank you mobil mobility today I appreciate it for that super chat thank you very much but yeah Chesterfield like a Chesterfield couch it, you don't have to put as much air into it it's really convenient for me It's my internet. Am I still here? So frustrating. So now I'm back on my 3G. I've got to jump from as soon as you go out, or as soon as I see it go out, I switch to my 3G, 4G. Then when it goes out, I switch to the house Wi-Fi. It seems like it's just dropping out. I don't know what the problem is. Hey, Anson, how's it going? Why so sad? I'm not sad. Thailand hotels are cheap and good. Yeah, 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 I know. But I like camping. I'm going to try and camp more, actually. So anyways, uh, so this is round, and uh, the material is great. Quality is great. It compresses down to super small. But one thing I, I have to do is I have to have a pillow. That This is a, comp a compressed down pillow. The pillow goes here. But what ha happens is I lay on it, and then I, it slides out because it's slippery. And then, um, this is much better. House Wi-Fi not as good as 3G. Cool. So, um, anyways, my friend owns another company called, um, called Nature Hike. And I noticed that he had some new products that, uh, that he makes. And so he has, uh, yeah, I saw Mobility today. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much, man. $1.99. Appreciate it. So Nature Hike has this one. Now this one I like because it's square. And uh, let me blow it up for you. It's e actually quicker to blow up because it doesn't have as much surface area. It doesn't have as much balloon, balloon section. four, five, six, maybe six. Anyways, this one is square. It's thinner here, but it has a built-in pillow. And man, it's nice. Here, let me, let me show you. I mean, to be honest, all I need is a, just a little bit of stuff to separate me from the ground. But that pillow, that pillow is Oh, it's perfect. I mean, I could use some more space here, like uh, a little bit higher off the ground. Like definitely the sea to summit is, is thicker in, in this portion. But to be honest, I lay down my uh, sleeping bag on top of this thing, I think it'd be fine. And it's smaller and lighter, which is pretty cool. And I love the pillow because no matter what I do here, I'm not gonna s slide the pillow out from underneath my head like this thing. I end up sleeping and I'll turn and the, the pillow will, will slide, will slide off of it. So no, there's no sliding now, you know, which is pretty cool. All right, let's see. Built-in pillow, it's very nice. Thank you, uh, thank you, Nature Hike. 
all you guys. Nature hike. Can't donate in Cambodia? Oh, I'm very sorry. But I do have a Patreon if you want to help me out. Uh, the link's below. Uh, raised sides built into the pillow. I need to order one of those. Hi from cold Maine. Hey, doesn't look comfy though. Well, camping, sometimes you got to sacrifice a little comfort. Do you ever experience dizziness when inflating things that way? Yeah, sometimes, but I can, I can, I'm full of hot air, you know, so it works out well. Nice and light and compact. Do you ever miss your trailer, Papa asks. Uh, yeah, yeah, but my, my knees sure don't miss them, so, um, and, and that's important. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm looking back. Uh, oh, you're back. I think I have the same tent as you. Yeah, that's an MSR hubba hubba. That tent is awesome. You want a tour of it? Let's take a look at my tent. So I've got the rain fly on it just because I'm trying to air it out. But the, it's so nice because the thing is, is just simply put together. It's nice, but it's still kind of hard to take off when the, there's only one hand. Anyways, so it's got these little, these little tit ends on them. And they just grab these little brackets. It's very, very easy to, to set up and take off. So I'm doing it with one hand. Just going to show. Most of the time I won't even use this rain fly, especially here in, in Thailand and in, in, uh, in the warmer places. Oh, come on, one handed. Okay. It's a fantastic tent, super light. And uh, the interior is really nice. Normally I have it staked down, but you know, really, really nice. And it actually has a lot of surface area, a lot more than you would think. There we go. So I can lay down at this fully, so my legs are straight and my head I mean, I have good, uh, this much space above my head. And I look straight up, I can see the sky or you know, <laughs> the, the lights in the house. I can sit up, which is another thing. I, I went through a bunch of tents and I couldn't sit up in them. Like the tent was too low. I was trying to go so, so small that I wasn't comfortable. But this is very comfortable. And I've got, you can see this where my hand is. There's a pocket there. So I can put like my wallet and some things I want to hang up. and. Just really, really nice. And it has two doors, so I can have like the garage back there and then the front door. That's very, very nice. And, it, and the, uh, the poles are actually just one piece. There's no multiple sections. They just all kind of close together and with a, uh, with a little uh, rubber band, you band, band them up and you're good to go. Um, here's my floor mat, which is an important thing to carry with your tent. So I lay this down first, and then the tent just goes and lays. It's like the footprint, they call it. Um, what about exclusively staying at ho hotels? I'll tell you what. You know, I've got my Hostel Territory series, uh, which is a series about uh, checking out different hostels in the world. And I would, much, I would, I would love that. I would love that, you know. Uh, if hotels and hostels were supporting me and my tour while I traveled, and all I had to do was do like a review of the hotel when I'm there, that'd be fine. I like camping, but because I make videos and stuff, I like to have Wi-Fi, I like to have electricity, I like to have some of the creature comforts, and uh, you know, if I, if, if I need to rough it, I have it. If I don't need to, then I have other, uh, I can stay at a hotel. I'm not like one of those guys that's like, there's other people out there that are probably like, damn you. You're not a real traveler. You're not a real traveler until you, you know, you, you sleep on the ground every day in a hammock. Well, I guess in a hammock you're not sleeping on the ground, but you get my point. Here are, uh... oh, actually, actually, the best camping was in Japan. A lot of parks. Uh, you set up your tent late at night. Nobody's there. You don't have to pay anybody. They had power. A lot of them had Wi-Fi. Uh, I camped out quite a bit in, in, uh, in Japan. It was nice. Anyways, so these are my, uh, my main panniers that go on either side of the back of the trike. These are Ortlieb 100% waterproof panniers. I got a, no audio? Neil, 
You guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? I'm sorry. I'm really excited to show you this stuff. I travel Jio style, right? All right, Steve, thanks, man. So anyways, these are my side panniers and I'm keeping them away from these effing dogs so they don't chew through these because I don't want them. <laughs> I don't want these, uh, these to go bad. So um, I'll fill these up. I have less gear than when I left, so um, I'll be very curious. I'm gonna weigh everything out and then uh, we'll see where we're at. So these are my, these are my main panniers. Then I have my, um, my uh, trunk case. And this is great. This is, a, this is a travel trunk case. And the worst thing about this um, is that uh, these straps had plastic screws here. And while I was in the USA, I bought hardware for them and I replaced them with uh, metal uh, fender washers and uh, bolts. And now these things are fantastic. I could, I could load this thing up. I was always nervous. Actually, one time I did carry this and this whole strap just popped right off. But I loaded it up uh, a little while back and I carried it all over the place. It was super heavy and no problem. So anyways, that's gonna clip right here and, and sit right here. And this is the other light I had, so, so you can see how that, that's supposed to work like that, you know? Did they charge me for my packages? Did, did they charge you for your packages like in Ningbo? Um, so HP sent me this big box, uh, value of maybe five, six hundred dollars or something. Um, the customs fee, HP took care of everything. So HP, thank you so much. HP Velotechnic is the company that makes the trike here. And they sent me everything I needed, put it in a box, they sent it out, uh, FedEx or whatever, a DHL I think, and uh, it arrived, I paid the customs fee. It was 80 US dollars. 80 bucks, it's okay. It was, it was worth it, you know. So, uh, yeah, that's all I paid. The sleeping bag came. I didn't have to pay anything for that. So, anyways, yeah, yeah, so that's good. Um, so, let's see. Then, then I have my side bags. So, this is one of the side bags. This one is my drone bag. So, it has my drone, my controller, four extra batteries for the drone. I got to charge them. And uh, my Osmo Pocket which I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it anymore. I, I, the Osmo Pocket has a function on it that my other cameras don't have. And it might be the reason that I keep it. Let me, hold on, I'll show you. So, So the Osmo Pocket, what makes it so cool, I think I showed you this in the other live stream I had, but think of it, okay, so this is my extra camera. I'll only keep it basically for this one purpose. It's, it's a, it's a, um, a uh, what do I call it? Like a fluid time lapse. Basically, because the camera here tips up, tips down, and rotates, right? So I can tip it up, rotate it, and say, Mark, and then I turn it to where I want it to finish and turn it down or whatever, and I mark it again, and then I go, go. And it will make a time lapse that can go anywhere I want from one point to another. And I can set it for as much time as I want. So think of like um, a beautiful mountainscape with clouds, and then I can pan this downwards to a tree or, or whatever as long as I need it. Um, I have a feeling that this is going to be a pretty cool, cool option, you know, no post-processing though. It's, it's all done in the, in the, in the Osmo. So yeah, yeah. Super cool. So that's, that's going to be cool. Then, um, this bag will be my, uh, drinks, uh, some cameras and, and basically all my cameras. So I have, I have my, uh, Canon G7X Mark III now, which will always have the, uh, microphone on it, then I will have the, um, where is it, the Hero. Now this is cool, man. This is the Hero 8, and I have this silicone case for it. That is so cool. See that strap? Hold on. Sorry. The cool thing about this strap 
is that I can put the camera around my neck at any moment. So I gotta go. Take the camera, throw it around. I'm mobile, you know what I mean? And then if I, if I need to, I can just, you know, I can just grab it. And the quality of this is really, really good. The Hero 8 is, is a real awesome camera. I haven't used it enough to tell you all the details about it or review it, but I'm told it's very good. The other camera is the, um, the, the 360 Max, and this will do 360 degree footage. If you look, <laughs> I found this, this uh, fitting at the camera store. It's a uh, aluminum milled uh, tripod end, and coincidentally, there's a, a monopod that should arrive tomorrow that's specially designed to do 360 degree video. Uh, because the interesting thing about this camera is if you look at the width of that camera, like between my eyes, right? If you were to snap a picture right now that's 360 degrees, I, I would have to imagine that my eyes would merge together because they take that space between the camera and the, they take the lens over here and the lens over here and they seam the entire uh, area together, leaving that space open. So. That's why if you've ever seen a 360 degree video, it looks like the camera is like floating in space because they actually cut the camera out and they cut out anything that's underneath the camera within this space. The problem was that this tripod end was a circle and when you took a picture, you could actually see the edge of this camera here and here. So I took it on the uh, bench grinder in, in my friend's garage and I, I, sh I shaved it down so now I might have to shave it down a little bit more, but once it's got the tripod that's coming, it's, the tripod that's coming is very, very slender and it, and it's, uh, and it stands at head height. It's, it's like six feet extension uh, monopod. So um, I'll be able to do all sorts of cool stuff like um, uh, walk through uh, reviews of houses and all sorts of stuff. So anyways, yeah, that's very, very cool. I'm very excited about that. Um, some, uh, what else? What are you guys talking about? Yep, it's a good morning to wake up with you, Matt. Hey, Michael. Any thoughts on doing video in Huang, Huang, Huashan? Huashan? Like Huangshan? What's Huashan Plank? I don't know what that is. Mobility? Tell me about it. Yeah, I'm in love with the new Hero 8 software. Yeah, it works with your phone amazingly. The hardware is amazing. I haven't bought a Hero Pro camera. They keep getting ready and then they bring out a new one. The 8's pretty good, Richard. The 8 is pretty good. Richard, you are right, with sponsors comes using their equipment. You know, um, you know what would be great to have, uh, Matt, thoughts on doing a video at Huangshan, Huashan. You mean Huangshan, like Yellow Mountain? Uh, do it, if that's Huangshan. Um, are you gonna join Silvio with the electrical system? Not yet, not yet. Um, sponsors, I was thinking like, what sponsors would I take? Schwab, the tire maker? Oh, I would definitely do them as a sponsor, for sure. Um, yeah, that's the end of that story. <laughs> I didn't have a lot more to talk about. Okay, so this is my uh, Garmin 3, uh, 10, 10, 1030 Edge. So this is, uh, this is my, gonna be my new uh, go-to uh, ride computer. Super excited about that. And uh, this is my new helmet, the Bontrager. Very, very comfortable helmet. The inside of this helmet actually shifts. So if you get into a car accident, they say that if you get into a car accident with this, God forbid, that the helmet will give a little bit. So it won't like, a lot of times, like they say that it gets like some sort of whiplash with it. It won't remove from the interior, like it won't like slide off your head, but there is a little bit of give side to side. So I'm excited about not trying that feature out ever. So <laughs> anyways, you know the funny thing about DJI, I don't know, I'm too small for DJI, but I'm just niche enough that like a tire company might be, might be, you know, a bike tire. Bike stuff, I think, that's where I could probably target them because I have a lot of views and stuff. Camera, it's too broad. I mean, there's millions of people doing camera that would, that would 
would be good for a, a camera sponsor or a DJI, but there's less people in the realm of cycling that would be more in line with that. You know, maybe Bontrager. Bontrager would be good, you know. MIPS keeps helmet from breaking apart as well. Yeah, yeah. Thing is, Matt's a cycling guy, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll be more of a drone guy here in the near future. I haven't flown the drone in half a year. Anyways, what was I looking at here? What was I looking at for you guys to, uh, to tell you guys about? Um, I forget. What the hell was I gonna talk to you guys about? All right, anyways, let me, oh, I know. So when I put the, uh, uh, the, um, the uh, shock absorbers and things together on the trike, I used this Loctite uh, 263 to just put a dab here, dab here. Well, as soon as I heard that sound, I had to take it apart again. I think I used too much Loctite because it, I, I almost felt like I was gonna shear the bolt off. Thank God I didn't do that. That would have been just, that would have been horrible to have to drill and tap a new, a new uh, strut, strut bolt. Ugh. Anyways, I was able to get it off. Thank God. Um, let me show you some more of the stuff I have here. So. This is a toiletry bag that, you know, you'd normally put all your toothbrush and stuff. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to make this my, my uh, electronics go bag. So, like, it has my hard drives here. It'll have um, GoPro accessories. It'll have um, basically everything that I need that's electronic or camera related. And then I, I can zip it up and then I can carry it with me. And uh, I can put, like cables here and the different pouches and I can keep some stuff back there. It's actually quite nice. It has a lot of options on it, you know. You should do protein bar energy bar sponsors. Yeah, Keith, I was thinking about that. I actually, I used to have this stuff. It was like a energy powder. I bought these at Costco last time. These are fantastic, by the way. The problem is that I'm going to run out of, I can only carry, you know how heavy protein bars are? I, I can't have somebody sending me out two weeks worth <laughs> every two weeks, you know, uh, I'm, it's just doesn't seem to be a feasible thing for me to, to, to do that. I tried to carry a whole bunch of stuff, but, um, I just end up carrying bags of stuff and go through it too quick. There's, this stuff is amazing, by the way, zip fits. I, I had one today. Oh man, it was a much better buzz than coffee. Like it felt better than, than like a coffee kind of feeling um, but uh, you know what sponsor would be great almonds almonds are like the best uh, snack on the road a lot of energy very dense they're dry so they don't ever go bad you can keep them with you and keep them with you and they're natural I like them a lot I could be a sponsor for a uh, fish oil company and a glucosamine chondroitin company because uh, I go through a lot of that this is my Wayne, everybody's asking me. You're, you're the third person to ask that exact same question. I sometimes miss my trailer, but I'm pretty satisfied with my gear right now. So, yeah, this, this is my, my pharmacy. Glucosamine chondroitin, B12, I think. Um, vitamin C. This is an energy supplement. This is uh, omega-3. And these are from my friend Johan in, uh, in Ho Chi Minh. This is great stuff. Starbucks sponsor. Starbucks sponsor would be great. Spar Starbucks would be great because you can stop in there, have a coffee that I always have anyways. They could give me a, uh, you know, like a card, like an unlimited card, like a black or a gold card, you know? <laughs> and then I could go anywhere as long as I promote Starbucks. I would, I would promote Starbucks. And there's Starbucks everywhere, pretty much everywhere. And their food is pretty good too, a salad chicken salad there. Oh, it's just the right sizes. So you eat it, you're on your way, you're not bloated, you still feel pretty good. Starbucks would be a great sponsor. Anybody out there know Starbucks? Anybody out there help me out with the Starbucks? Anyways, I have a bunch of uh, straps for my knee. Um, I bought them in the USA. I'm going to try them out. I've got this one, which I, f I bought in Korea. And it's a Tulisoft. You ever heard of this brand? Tulisoft? 
I don't know if you can, if your, your video is mirrored, but it seems like it's mirrored here too. So the Tula Soft is just, this thing is great, amazing, but I've never been able to find the same brand. Literally, I've, I've looked everywhere for it, can't find it. But this one is a, a 3M, made by 3M. And this one uh, might be good, but the problem is it might, this actually goes behind, behind your leg, behind, and then these straps go in front around your knee. And a lot of times if you have too much crap behind my, behind my knee, it ends up sort of counterproductive. It, it doesn't feel good, it ends up sweating too much and it doesn't feel comfortable at all. But uh, I'll give it a try. Worst case scenario, I leave it on the side of the road somewhere, which is fine. I have this thing, I'm gonna show you. I have these. That's <laughs> funny story. These are, um, I bought these at REI. They are really, really lightweight uh, sleeping, a sleeping mask. Great for hostels, because you end up, uh, people turn the lights on and they're really disruptive and you just wanna sleep, you know? and they're really comfortable and they've got like the pockets, you know, so that your eyelashes don't touch the, uh, the inside. So when you wear it, yeah, it looks like a bra. When you wear it, it feels great. So I had this, I brought it back home to, from China to the, from USA to China and Annie looked at it, what is this? I says, it's, uh, it's Eva's bra. In America, you know, the kids, when they're about two or three, they have to start wearing the bra. So I said, this is, this is Eva's bra. And so he <laughs> put it on Eva. Actually looked, looked really nice. Like, like it looked like, an, like a little baby bra. And Annie was like, giving me this weird look like, are you freaking crazy? Eva doesn't need a, uh, a bra. I was like, well, you know, she is half American. So she, I think she needs a bra. You know, if, if she, she's gonna be, uh, she's gonna fit in, she better start learning the way it goes, you know? And uh, anyways, it went on for just a few minutes and then I told her, she's like, oh, okay, makes sense. Anyways, yeah. Very nice and really, really light. I mean, this thing is the lightest face mask I've ever seen. And, and it has that, uh, that contour, it's great. Um, another thing, so this is the hat that uh, I am so excited about. Um, I went to an embroidery place and they were able to embroider the Jaya logo on the back and embroider Jaya there. If you look at it, you can see where they, well, really you can't see it, but they embroidered it, first time they embroidered it right here. And I wore it for a little while and I was like, this hat, when you wear it, it's pretty tight on my head so that when I'm riding, it doesn't fly off my head. But it was up here, it was like too high. So I had them fix it and they put it down here and it was still too bad. I felt bad. I felt really bad. The girl was so nice. So I walked in there one day and I'm like, I'm really sorry, but you've got to remake it again. You've got to bring it as low as possible, right above the brim. And so she's like, okay, we'll do our best. Perfect, right? This is great. Perfect. Now, the other thing that's cool about this is I, uh, my friend has uh, motorbikes in his garage and he lets me tootle around why and do what I need to do. And I was riding at 70, 65, 70 kilometers an hour with this hat and it stayed. It didn't, actually around 70, it flipped up. But up until 60, it didn't even budge. I mean, like the brim was solid the whole time. And that's one of the reasons that I like this hat because if I'm riding on the trike and I'm going like 30 kilometers an hour or 40 kilometers, or I'm going downhill, you know, I'm, I'm going, I can get up to 60, 60 kilometers an hour. I don't want my hat flipping up. You guys have seen me, I guess, a few times when I'm riding and the hat flips up and then, you know, the sun gets in your eyes and, you know, and everything, but this is, this is, how does the back look? I think it's nice, the hat, the back area is a little bit higher. Where is it, it's right here because I, I sit with the hat tipped up, so, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, I'm very excited about this hat. Anybody that wants this hat, I'm very sorry. It's one of a kind. <laughs> that's it, that's it. There is no other alternative. Uh, I do have some alternatives on my website, but they're not gonna be as nice as this hat. I bought this hat at REI, and it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's handmade in Canada, and uh, I think Canada. Handmade somewhere. Connor hats. Anyways, it's handmade, and then I, I embroidered it. So this is like truly special. 
very excited about it. So uh, now I'm going to probably put my uh, banners back on the bags. And I have the American one on one side. And then on the other side, I have the, uh, the Thai one. So uh, these will go on the trike. Uh, the trike bags will be good to go. A little tip, a little traveler's tip. I keep a, a, a bag full of dryer sheets, really good quality ones from the USA or uh, like Kirkland ones you can get, well, ones from Costco. And what you do is um, put them everywhere. I put one in the bottom of each pannier, just one sheet in the bottom, and months the smell is great. Keeps the tent smelling nice, keeps all my clothes smelling nice. I like to open up my bag and get a nice, like, this is a really, really, I mean, I love the smell of like the cotton, cotton, freshly washed cotton sheets or something. And uh, I put these in, in all of my pannier bags. It's a good idea. I put, even put one in my backpack. So, and then obviously I have the other ones so that I can uh, do my laundry. And a lot of times when you go and do public laundry, they don't have, if they have a dryer, they don't normally have dryer sheets. They just, especially in China or Vietnam, didn't have any dryer sheets, so it's good. You can order the Tilly Soft knee braces on G Market Global. It's a Korean website owned by eBay that ships internationally. Cool, thank you, Expat Life Korea. Wow, coming out of there with the, with the Korean comments. So, so I was not 100% sure if I had bought those in Korea or Japan. So I must have bought the, that in, in Korea. Because it's really, really, the thing I like about it is it has these uh, really rough or hard, not rough, hard, uh, like it's almost a rubbery uh, tube in, in that, portion and this portion and so when you put it on your knee I'll show you when you put it on your knee um, this is the back area right I haven't worn it in such a long time I sort of forgot how to put it on okay so this is the top part and this is the bottom part and when I wore this when I wear this I can run, I have full movement, and, this, and it just feels good, and, and it holds my kneecap in such a way that the, um, the crunching and the grinding from my knees just totally melts away. You wanna hear something horrible? Let's see if I can make my knee crunch and crinkle. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, it's not, here we go, a little bit. No, it's not, it's not crinkling too much. <laughs> I think it'd be great for playing basketball. It's a little thick. Maybe, hey, my knee's not crinkling. In the morning? Holy shit, it sounds, it sounds insane. I mean, it sounds, this morning it sounded really bad. It was just like, <laughs> every move I was a little bit worried so not having any sound hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm happy about that I heard that too that was some popping that's natural but I'm talking about the crunching um, my shoes I have these uh, if I need to wear shoes I, I have these like sock shoes from Nike so if I wanted to go for a run or whatever uh, those will be good. Wait till you're 53. Everything will crinkle. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's not that far away. I'm 40. So, to all the people who are older than 40, they looked at me just saying that, and they're like, what an asshole. I'm 40. That's old. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, uh, this as well this is my little camping light, and this blows up. I don't know if I showed you that. I know Sylvie Meltzer actually had... Um, not Sylvie Meltzer's, Sylvie, uh, uh, I'm gonna eat it. I can't do it and hold the camera at the same time. I haven't blown this up in like forever.
Jayo Sam, take it easy, buddy. So yeah, this is my little camping light. Let me turn the lights off. I'll show you what it looks like. Turn the other lights off. Hold on, hold on. So, I mean, it's not like super, du oh, there we go. Pretty bright, right? I mean, pretty bright. You put this in your tent and everything's lit up pretty well. I was walking by the trike and this light was illuminating my uh, decals, which is pretty cool. Can you see them? Not really. Yeah, you see how the, the flag lights up? Here. Anyways, I'll turn the lights back on. Hold on. There we go. Oh, it wasn't all the way bright. So you'd seen it. It wasn't it wasn't completely illuminated. So tomorrow I think I'm gonna finish uh, I think I'm going to finish the uh, packing and everything. I'll get the uh, monopod in. Hey, Jason, how's it going? Fire crotch is doing much better. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Maybe tomorrow I'll, I'll load the trike up, everything, and I'll do some rotation, rotation video of the trike rotating on the, uh, on the rotating uh, Lazy Susan or whatever. I think after I hang up with you guys, I'll, I'll do what you guys suggested in the beginning of the uh, video, which is take my shocks and rotate the, uh, swap out the, the springs so that we can see if, if I have a real problem with, the, uh, with that portion of the, of the trike. If you guys are just joining me, I had, uh, I had some pro I have, I've, I've the trike's all ready to go, but there's one issue I'm having with one of the new shock absorbers, and it's, uh, Hopefully I can get it fixed. Yeah, that's an MSR tent, hubba hubba. That's my tent. And uh, we also reviewed my sleeping pad. Um, and if you missed anything, you can watch the live stream later. Actually, um, it's really my intention to review and uh, make videos of all my gear. And uh, actually, you know, become sort of a, a, a guru of, uh, of, of camping and cycling gear. It'll include my video stuff, it'll include camping stuff. Maybe I'll cycle things. I won't do, I won't do always video gear or cameras. I'll do like a camera one week and then I'll do a tent another week and then a sleeping bag and a sleeping bag and then another camera thing and then you know different kind of things. Bye Wayne, take it easy buddy. Is it, what is today? Is today Monday? What day is it? What day is it today? Wednesday. It's Wednesday here, so it's Tuesday there, right? So you guys gotta go to work, a lot of you, I think. It's 9.30, so yeah. Jayo guys, have, have a good day at work. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I bought a hammock set up, but I have not used it yet. That's what people do with hammocks. They buy hammocks, then they find out there's no real place to use the hammock, and then they say, well, now I have a hammock. Those are the three steps of Oni Hammock. Mark just uh, sent me a message. I was just thinking, check that. The tight shock spring is not loaded up with the felt tubes inside the spring. Yeah, the felt tubes are inside the spring, but they're in the same as the other side. But I'm gonna get to work and see if I can figure out these shocks. Uh, would you guys be interested at all in me doing repairs and just letting the camera stream? I could probably do stuff like, I don't want to do it on this, this time, but I was thinking maybe I could have just done that. Any comments on the protesters still? No, I have, I have no idea about any Hong Kong stuff. Not really interested. 
Uh, not that I'm not interested, but I'm not interested in bringing it into my videos. I don't want to talk politics, especially that politics. It's crazy. Anyways, guys, take it easy. Um, I am, yes, yes. Is that about the, my maintenance stuff, Michael? Yeah, I would like to watch repairs. Yeah, Jason, I guess so. Then, I mean, I guess I could just let the camera go if you guys want to, uh, you know, we might shift over this thing into a maintenance uh, live stream. And uh, let's, let's see, okay? So everybody here, thank you so much for joining me on the live stream. I'm going to continue the live stream, but I'm going to do some maintenance. And you guys can stay on if you want to watch the maintenance. Uh, if not, um, uh, it's cool. We can talk about, we're going to be totally trikes now, probably. You know my brain, though. I'll, we'll we'll, we'll sidetrack and do all sorts of crazy stuff. But um, when are you coming to Singapore? Uh, I don't know where Singapore is. I, I might be in Singapore, uh, but that's not going to come till after the holiday, after Christmas. Um, but, uh, um, yeah. Um, thank you for joining. If you want to help me on my tour, I really appreciate any help. You can support me by uh, buying some apparel on jayo.com, J-A-Y-O-E.com. You can uh, join my Patreon where I do a daily audio podcast where I kind of just shoot the shit. Actually, the podcast today I shot or I recorded just before I did this and started this live stream. And I was talking about, I'm probably going to do a live stream. So if you want to do the live stream, um, did, I, did I post that? I wonder if I didn't post that. I didn't post it. <laughs> okay, well, I just posted it just now that said I'm going to do a live stream, but I'm already doing the live stream. Anyways, I do a daily podcast for a buck a month. You can help me on my tour and see that or uh, five bucks a month or whatever you want. So uh, appreciate all of that. Um, I am going to be leaving here in a short time, uh, probably Friday. I will be on the road headed south towards Malaysia, uh, actually b first cycling through Thailand. So there's a lot of Thailand left and I'm really excited about it. So thank you very much, Jayo, and I appreciate y'all. Now, let's, let's see if we can work on my, uh, on my shocks and my struts, okay? So uh, I will turn the, uh, you're all, <laughs> I know, I, I just did it. Just now, I posted it, sorry. I wanted to post that before I did the, uh, before I did the, uh, the, the um, I wanted to post that before I did the, uh, the live stream. Okay, so, howdy folks. Uh, we're gonna do some maintenance. For those of you just joining that want to hear what, what's going on with my trike, I uh, replaced uh, the shocks and the struts. So let me show you a few of the things that I'm replacing. This box is for Mark. Mark is uh, my friend in Australia. Mark, I think you're here, right? Mark A. Alton, um, I'm giving you a, uh, a really, really nice uh, reflective yellow decal. You could put it on whatever you want. I don't think it'll fit on any trike parts. It's pretty big. I'm um, going to try and send you my uh, Garmin 1000 because it's, it's good, but I don't know if they'll let me ship the batteries. I'm going to send you my, uh, my other uh, posters here and... Um, I got, we got a Vietnamese one, we got a, a Cambodian one, and then we got a couple other ones there. Um, I was going to send you some of the brake pads for my BB-7 just in case I switch back down the road, which I doubt. I'm going to send you these lights, Mark. Hey, Mark. So I'll send you these uh, LED lights, which are fantastic. You might be able to use them. Uh, I'm also going to send you some more decals for your trike. And then these are the, uh, I'm going to send you my... I don't know, maybe i just throw this away. This is my heart, heart rate strap for the Garmin. If you wanted to use it with, in pairing with that, if you wanted to use it in pairing with that, you could have it. But uh, how many f miles do you think you've put on the trike? Probably 25,000 kilometers, whatever that is in miles. So these are the struts, right? So this one was actually pretty good, I think. And then this one was the one that was pretty worn. And uh, so... How many are sitting on a toilet while watching this live stream? Well, congratulations, Neil. Good luck with everything. So uh, the problem with this one is if you look in the tube, let's see if I can get some light here. If you look in the tube here, let's see my camera's up there. You see that it's all corroded inside. That's rust. 
And when I showed that to um, HP Velotechnic, they said I should replace it. So you can see this, see how easily this, this slides up and down? Very, very smooth, very easy. Um, when, I, when I opened the trike, open, oh, they were totally, totally uh, messed up, totally greased up. It was black here, there was corrosion. I, I cleaned them up because I thought I was gonna use them, um, but then HP saw it and they said, I'll just send you some new ones. Um, before we go any farther, let me uh, plug in because I'm gonna lose my battery here. find that so here's my charger cable that's still charging though where's my other pocket one there it is here we go oh do i have lights here yep okay so into the phone okay all right so we have the struts which i replaced there's this one and then there's this one. Um, you can hear when I when I depress this. Actually, I'm gonna I'm going to set this on the ground here. Pardon me while I like shake the camera around, just because I'm I'm gonna be articulating this tripod throughout this repair podcast. So I'm sorry if you get dizzy, but okay. So this is a good one. You can hear it uh, operate. You hear it. You don't because there's no sound. It's perfect. This side, on the other hand, makes a little noise. So. Okay? So I don't know what's wrong here because I actually pulled all of this off and, um, and, um, uh, let's see. because I pulled all of it off and uh, checked it out and it looked like it was fine. No, no, it shouldn't need lubrication, Anson. It should be fine. Um, HP sent them to me completely, completely ready to go. I shouldn't need to add anything. And so uh, there's a weird sound. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the cap off of this one and I'm, we're gonna take a look at what's inside here. Um, I can do some of it while I'm sitting here, but I'm gonna have to get off as soon as I access the spring. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually take off the upright uh, stand-up assist struts because it, maybe I won't, because I, I think we're gonna flip over the trike a little bit later. Let's try and do all this and leave the, leave the struts. So first thing first, let's, uh, take off the light, or the mirror. Mark, I don't know if you heard it, but one of the guys suggested, uh, I don't know who it was, who, who suggested swapping out the inner components. I'm going to try and take the spring and everything out of this and move it to the other side. And uh, then if, if I still have the problem, still here? Uh, tell me if you see me, okay? I don't know if I'm live yet. You guys there? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, okay. I don't know what happened. I keep dropping out. Okay, so uh, now I'm gonna get off the trike and I'm gonna sit down here. And we're gonna go ahead and take it out. Now, Mark, I, I actually, when I put it in here, how many turns? So uh, we'll do count the turns. So that's one turn, two turn, three turn, Four turn, turn, four turn, five turn, six turn, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Okay, there we go, 10. Okay. And uh, I'll put that to the side. So inside we have the spring. So inside we have the spring. And there's no oil on the spring, Mark. I thought this was gonna be greased up. Um, but when I, when, I, when I originally took this apart, this was uh, corroded. This whole thing was, you could barely see the spring. It was all uh, rust. So I just assumed that it was coated with some sort of grease, but it's dry. It is, just has this yellow paint on it. So put that to the side. Then we have, uh, this is how they load it. Because I have a uh, uh, suspension rated for over 90 kilos. So they, uh, they put in different stuff for different setups. So mine has this uh, black stopper. I don't think, Mark, I don't think so, Mark. Nobody told me about grease. And I looked in the instructions, it didn't say anything about grease. I don't wanna put any grease on anything if they, that's not where the sound is coming from. I don't think that's where the sound is coming from. The other side is perfect, and it doesn't have, it's the same, um, but anyways. Okay, so before I take everything out of here, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, yeah, this is the white. This is just a piece of Teflon, basically. But I'm gonna swap everything out, okay? So now we're gonna go to the other side. Because once I take these caps off, I'm gonna flip the trike over, everything's gonna fall out of the bone parts are the same. So I won't need to flip it over. I won't need to flip it over. So, okay, so this one. Take the mirror off. It's not about sound, but moisture and condensation. I know, I know, Jason, but... Um, um, I just had to go off of onto Wi-Fi and then back. I don't know what happened. Anyways, okay, so, uh, okay. Now I will tell you, uh, Mark, because Mark and I have been talking about this a lot. This sp spins a lot easier than that side. So the threads here are a little bit easier, I guess. I don't know what that means, but I feel like this one is uh, a little bit easier together. So, okay. And you see that? Okay, did you see that? The whole trike, the whole trike sagged and the spring ejected, which didn't happen on the other side. The other side is still, and it's fully, it's, it's like frozen. You see what I'm saying? So, I don't know what it could be. Okay, let me keep going. So yeah, let's compare the springs. So it's, it's the cap. Sorry about that, guys. Let's, let's, uh, I'm gonna try and keep you with it. I'm enjoying your comments here. Can you, can you hear me? You guys hear? Somebody see me? You guys see me? Hello? Hello? You guys here? Can you see me, hear me, anybody? I know I'm just saying Matt has peace of mind. I think there's a seating problem like I was talking about. Compare the springs as well. 
maybe a tiny bit of mechanical misalignment. Put the ball in that good, my team lost. And he's back, back in business. You guys here? Okay. Also, compare the bad side to your old springs. Also compare the bad side to your old springs. Okay, so, did you notice that? Like, when I took this cap off, the entire thing ejected. Um, and this is the spring, same, it's dry. There's no coating on it. Um, I'm gonna put it off to the side. And then I have four of these inserts. What do you mean old springs? The springs look identical. Just one was corroded as all hell. The other side was okay, I guess. Um, actually, the other, the other strut was not so bad. Maybe I can use the other strut and uh, still use it, maybe. The old one from your old set. Hold on, let me go get them. Okay, so um, these are the, this one is, yeah, it won't work. This is the bad one. The bad one is the one that I'm having trouble with right now. So I can't, I can't swap it. If it was, if it was this one, I could actually probably just use this one again, because for all intents and purposes, it's good. But it's dry on the inside, Mark. There is no grease residue in here. And um, yeah, it's dry, so I don't know, I don't know. Springs, okay, so I, I, I took these springs. This thing, you could barely see the spring. It was all um, corroded and uh, rusted, and I let it soak in white vinegar for 24 hours, and I was able to get it pretty much back to the way it uh, takes. Just this one's, uh, you know, a little rough. I scrubbed it down with a wire, wire brush, too, you can see. Down on the inside, it's got a lot of rust in there still. But the other one, this is the other one, which, I mean, it looks a little aged, but um, no, no big problem. I mean, and then the way that they, uh, let me see, Anson. Yeah, same. Same. Okay, I'm gonna put these to the side. Yeah, I changed the springs, everything. It's really frustrating because I'm, I'm actually feeling like we're we're getting somewhere if you look down in the tube it's a flat wa washer sitting down at the same depth okay so now I'm gonna look um, here Let's see if I can have you guys look down there with me so uh, let's see if I can actually get one of these It'd be nice if I could get out the, uh, it'd be nice if I could get the stuff out of here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna flip the trike over and we're gonna drop out the, um, we're gonna drop out whatever's in the, in there, okay? So I'm gonna flip the trike over and we're gonna just, just to drop out the inside uh, flag, flag. And then we'll flip. So this one is coming right here. So let's see here. Okay. Oh, this one didn't fall out.
flip it back. Okay, so while it's up upside down, you can see, okay? This is actually a good thing. So, uh, while we're upside down, let's just, I'll show you, right? So, this is the good side. Moves without any noise, very, very quiet. And then this side, You see? You hear that? So, what does that Maybe there? I don't think you can see anything unless I had a light. Maybe I can take that, that camping light and you guys can see something in there. All right, that's not bad, right? I'll actually, oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's pretty neat. Okay. So. Oh, oh, that looks like a perfect shot right there. How did I get there? Okay, so there we go. Oh, oh, oh. How did I? There. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, I'm trying to get the camera to hold on, hold on. Sorry, I'm trying to get the camera to stop there, and I just can't seem to get it. That's pretty good, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna move it. Okay, now let's go to the other side and see it. So, okay, let's reposition the camera here. Let's see if we can get that same, same sort of perspective. Maybe, uh... There we go, oh, oh, that one was good. Oh shit, that was perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna articulate this. Oh, look at that. So this is the good one. The good one. There's no grease there, there's no grease there. Am I back? Sorry again. Let's see here. So this is back at the bad one again. Let's take a look here. See that inner, inner, inner part isn't moving up or down. Okay, you see that? So, uh, did you guys, uh, did you guys see that? Take it off and inspect it. Do you think that, uh, do you think it would be worth, it's not worthwhile to swap the, swap the stuff, inner, inner component, right? Because, um, 
I mean, I, I think it's, it's, it's the unit. It's not what's the string or anything, right? Am I right? Do you guys agree? So it has something to do. There's two layers inside. It's the unit itself. Okay, so let me, uh, let me take off the everything. For the, for the fifth time. Higher. Fender. I don't want to have to take that that one off on the other side, but I guess we could compare it, but if we have to do the other side, that would be so frustrating. Okay, so. HP makes these, uh, these are their new fenders, and the holes go through instead of having slots, if you guys know that at all. It's much, much nicer. All right, now I had a real, real, real hard time getting this off last time because uh, my anti-seize problem. So Mark uh, told me I should, uh, Mark told me I should, I should take that anti-seize off, but I didn't clean it, so. Oh, okay, it's moving pretty good. Okay, so take this off. The problem is that the anti-seize actually is into the little bearing thing, and so the, the screw won't, won't actually come out now. It should just come right out, but it's totally... Matt said Friday. What did I say? Oh, oh, when am I gonna leave? Yeah, probably Friday. Okay, good. I was a little worried that these were not gonna come out, but because I unscrewed them once already, the anti-seize isn't, isn't as strong as it was before. Okay, so we can take that off. I'm gonna take the brake off too, so that we can play around with it and not have anything get in the way. I'll have to rebalance these brakes then. These brakes are so easy to balance though. So nice, these calipers. These are my new brakes, by the way, guys. Mark knows, but I changed from the BB se BB sevens, right? BB BB. I want to say BB eight, but isn't BB eight the android from Star Wars? The BB sevens. So these brakes are just much, much, much nicer. But let's get the get the calipers off here. That way we can just take a look at the. At the shock strut whatever strut is it a strut or is it a shock or is a shock a strut i'm getting very good actually at tearing this thing apart you guys still here i'm not missing you yeah i also have the same trike yeah mark's been helping me around a lot he knows what i'm going through okay so the brakes are off let me look at comments. Hello from Atlanta, Georgia. Hi. Uh, have you, do you have a manual handy? It doesn't have, uh, it does. I have the manual, but everything that you see is what I see in the manual. Uh, there's a black felt. There's a black felt lining inside. When you pull the inside apart, maybe that folded in on itself, causing binding. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. So uh, I got a couple more spins of this. The, the screw is supposed to come out and back out, but the anti-seize has actually bound it up inside its little bearing there, Mark. So, anyways, it's not a big deal. Once I back it all the way off, I can actually just take this and just shift it over to the side. Okay. Okay. All right. 
So now, I take the, the fairing here, whatever it is, and I push it back into itself. And uh, I'm able to sort of back the, back the fucker off. It'd be really nice if I could get this stupid freaking thing to come off the... The trick is to get it to... Uh, Man, finish your sentence, buddy. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right. So we are out. Um, inside here, um, Loctite. It's Loctite. Sorry, I say anti seize. My dad, my dad loved anti seize. He called it anti sleaze. Uh, anyways, that's the story of my dad. Um, so, okay, I've got the two uh, washer and the. Uh, the fairing or whatever in there, or the, whatever, it's two washers. And then I have the, um, you know what I'm gonna do? I don't wanna pluck this, uh, this uh, uh, twist zip tie because I don't have the same, okay. Coincidentally, the other side has the same sound. There's something that floats around in there, but, uh, If you guys could see inside here, I, oh, you can. You see that uh, in the inside? That uh, here. Let me take the good old one. You can, you can compare it to the old one. That's that's good. Let's see here. Okay, so this is the old one. Okay. And this is the new one. It's like there. It's like there's air. I I, I like hearing air. If I do this one, no way. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna look at your comments. Mark is, is asking you to do something. I'm gonna look back. Okay. Uh, when you take it off, place a bolt from the bottom back into the bottom of the unit and give it a tap. That'll release the inside tubes. Um, I really want to help you with it. And I see it does not bind, that's right. Uh, that's a locking ring. It's what the screw goes into. Place the bolt from the bottom back into the bottom unit and give it a tap. That'll release the inside tubes. Um, hey, do this, Matt. Take the old one, place the bolt from the bottom. Take the old one, place the bottom from the, from the bolt from the bottom back into the bottom of the unit and give it a tap. It will release the inside tubes. Do it with the old one first so you can see what happens. Has anyone ever offered you GHB on the road? I don't know what GHB is. GHB. When, then you will understand how it comes apart. Good idea. And I'll do it with the broken one, um, I think, unless it's too seized up. Let me get a hammer, I'll be right back. Baby, okay. So, uh, where's the screw? Where do I have? Oh, I can't. The stupid thing's frozen in there. Maybe I can take my screw from my uh, from the top from the mirror. Okay. Okay. This is yeah. This is totally frozen. I can't. Maybe I can take a hammer and back it out. Now that I get a hammer, but I don't wanna.
I don't want to tear the bearing apart. Anyways, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with that. So this is the this is the bad one. Um, see the other one was you can see very well, but anyways, this is a bad one, and this is the screw. Let's see what happens. Hey, hey. okay, but. Okay, this is, so now I'm going to unscrew it. Mark, we might have just solved it. And thank you for making me do this on the... Okay, here you go. This is how bad the old one was. All right, that, that's, nothing, that's nothing major. I can definitely... It's got a spring here. And it's got a pin. And it's got uh, the... Uh, I don't know. You can see the... It's got this, this end here. And then let's look down in the tube. It's just basically nothing. It's just totally clean in, in the inside. Okay, Mark, so, um, cool, now the tubes should pull apart. What tubes? These? Oh. Okay. Okay. I wonder if the new one has a lower spring. I don't think so. I think they're exactly the same. To work out what's going to need to take a shot. Okay. So, so now what do you want me to do? Do you want me to uh, do what I just did to the, to the good one? Do you want me to do what I just did to the good one? And we pound it out because well, I guess in that case this should very easily pull out at that point in time right is that right I'm not gonna do anything until you tell me okay now pull the new one apart and reseat it all okay so let me move these bad ones out of the way and then take the good one I think this is gonna work mark so okay so this is the good one And it didn't take a lot of hitting, like I was thinking I was gonna have to rail on it, but it just kinda, okay, ready? Okay, ready? Some of my anti-seas there. I think the anti seize did it from the from the bolt here. I don't think so. All right, so freshly milled piece here it actually has a has an Allen key receiving section. I don't know why. Okay, so the spring is right here. It's on it. Okay, now let's pull the pull the tube out. It's not coming out. It's not coming out easy. It's it's very snug. Very very snug. Let me pull the boot back. Now this is coated. Okay, this has a C clamp there. I don't think it has anything to do with what's inside there. I think it's the bushing. This bushing here is really tight against the... Is it dry inside? No, it's got some grease on it. I have some more of that white grease. You want me to try some of that white grease? Let me look down. Uh... I'm looking down and I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at here. It's a tube. It has some different serration portions to it, but inspect something is binding. Yeah, something is binding. 
Let's compare the um, the tubes. So, okay, yeah, this one has the has the a washer there, and the uh, what is that called? A clamp that you have to take the two points. So that's the this is the new one. Take off the boot. All right, I guess I could just use any uh, any. Uh, any uh, zip tie, later than that was a zip tie that came with the, uh, came with the boot. Hold on, let me, uh, I don't want to cut the, uh, I don't want to cut off the, uh, I don't want to cut the boot at all, so. That's not going to work. Hold on, guys, just a sec. I want to take this boot out, too, because it's easier to see. Easier to see what's going on. Sorry, guys, just a sec. Just take, hang with me. Okay, uh, let's get this boot off. Okay, so. I'm looking down in this thing. Mark, there's something in here. There's something in here. Is there something in the, in the old one? Yeah, there's something in the old one too. It's a piece of, uh, this is the old one. This is a piece of felt or something. It's like rubber. It's greased, greased up. I'm not gonna pull it out, but Maybe. Maybe that's, there's, there's a part of it that's uh, maybe not laying flat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean off my, I didn't pull it out. That was the old one, I didn't pull it out. Let me get some paper towel, hold on. He pulled the old one out, so it's fine. Oh my, this is getting dangerous. The new one's seated, correct? Correct? Let me, let me take a look. So this is... My, my secondary phone here. It's seated in there pretty good. I don't see any problems. There is, a, there is that felt, and then there's another metal section, and then deeper, there's another section. Let's see if I can touch it with my finger. The other section below is recessed, but there's nothing in there. This is the bad one, same, the same. Okay, so there's nothing different about that. Can you see? This is the old one. This is the old one. You see? So there's that one reset, that's where the felt went. And then deeper down, you can see there's another section there that's, that's a little recessed. This is the new one. So you can see that felt area 
and then uh, there's a recessed area that's down below that. So, so it's right, right? It's right. Do you want me to take the other side off and compare them? I don't want to fucking do that, man. <laughs> I mean, this is the good one, right? More grease? More grease. Okay. So, as far as grease goes, I have this white grease, and I have this, this grease. This is that, sh I showed you a picture of this, Mark, right? This is the Shimano stuff. Use this. Finger full of grease, wipe the finger around, uh, and work the shaft in and out for a bit and see if it loosens up. Okay, I'm gonna use this. White grease. Use the white grease. Okay. All right, so. I don't want to, I'm going to move away all the, the bad one, and I'm just going to keep around me, where'd I put it, where'd I put it, okay, so here's the, here's the good one, and the inner cylinder is right here, and I am going to take the white grease here, and uh, take a finger, Okay, and I'm just gonna I wonder if HP is ever gonna watch this and they're gonna be like, I can't believe what he's doing. Doesn't he know he's messing it all up? Hopefully not. I don't have a ton of this stuff, so. That should be enough, right? Make sure it's coated everywhere. Good? They did, it was lubed up. The other ones was similar. I, I, I just, we're trying something here. I just want to make sure the interior of this is clean. No burrs or anything. We ready to go? Let's see. As soon as it hits that felt, man. Okay, this is without the felt. Very smooth. As soon as it hits that felt, That felt is... It's still tight though, Mark. It's still tight. It's too hard to... I guess it may be a little bit better. You're trying to saturate the felt, right? Is that the purpose of this? Is to try to get the felt uh, coated with uh, grease, right? Wet it. Oh. Now that felt is uh, white. I feel like the felt is a little bit too thick, but you know, you know, Mark, that might be the thing that's gonna wear down over time, right? If the felt is, uh, oh shit. 
I shouldn't do that actually. If I do that too many times, every time I stick it in there, I gotta be careful not to, if I pull that felt out, I'll be screwed, right? <laughs> okay, so no more extending it out any farther. Okay, so clean off the excess. Gecko. Now get rid of the grease on the shaft. Okay. I have the extra wide helps mat. Not sure. Okay. Good. Okay. All right, let's put it back together, right? So this will now go, just drop it in. Okay, okay, so that's why it has a, because uh, this is gonna be a little bit hard to match up the uh, screw to the, um, to the bottom. So what I'm going to see here, this should fit perfectly, right? The felt being dry will squeak under pressure. Okay, so let's do this. That's why there's a, uh, that's why there's a, a, a Allen key there so that you can actually get it up in there. Okay, so um, now that that's in there, uh, what do I do next? I have to put the boot back on so that when we assemble this thing together, it'll be, uh, it'll be on. Uh, just give me a second, make sure I'm doing it right. For now, just to keep the thing together, I'm gonna screw this in, just kind of hold it. Actually, actually have to. Uh... Oh, <clears throat> I have to do that in order to bind it down and pull it in. There must be a wedge or something in there, Mark. Eh, like that binds it into the bottom section, or maybe there's a recess or something. Either way, that's in there now. So I'm going to back this out. I'm going to put the boot back on. Wrong way. This way. This is a lot more fun than uh, the place you're staying at looks sweet. <laughs> yeah, Adam, it's an awesome place, man. Not a bad place to sit and fix a truck. How's it going, Adam? Adam Hugel, everybody. He's a, he's a fellow traveler. I'm working on my trike. I'm, uh, I think a lot of you guys know who Adam is. Anyways, okay, so uh, I wanna make sure I have everything right. That's right, that's right. Should be pretty easy now. Before I do any pull in there, let's. I'm gonna drop it back in now. Drop the. Back into the. Scratching this thing up. There's an O-ring in there that you have to make sure the, there we go. Now I have to be careful that I don't push too hard because I'll push through the, 
I'll just push the, uh, I think he had the washer inside. No, the wa all the washer stuff is good. Hi all, still in New Orleans. Good luck putting your truck back together. Thanks, Adam. We're doing a maintenance podcast here. It didn't start out this way, but it's ending this way. Now I'm gonna use the, the Allen key just to kind of hold it in place while I match up the machine screw here. Once this is on, I think we can pretty much test out. Mark, what did you say? Then you can grab the load. Turn the turn light. Turn on the cap. Pull the spring. Put the spring in. Turn light on the cap. Then you can grab the bolt. Oh, the bolt's in there already. We're good. I'm gonna continue. Take it easy, Adam. If you are, you're probably already gone. Thank you guys for doing this. This is this is really, really nice that uh, I feel like I have a room full of brains. You know, getting a bunch of heads working together and Mark, Mark at the lead. It's very, very helpful. Okay, now it's gonna seat in there. I can feel, as I tighten it, I can feel my Allen key on the bottom because I have the Allen key there, right there. I can feel it sucking up into the into the body of the uh, strut. And no need for this anymore. Okay. <laughs> cool, Adam. New Orleans, huh? Is it is it crazy? Is it a party there? I wonder what's going on. Okay, so um, we are tight on the bottom. I don't. I'm not going to rehook up the steering yet. We're just going to we're just going to play around with it a little bit. Okay, so without the spring, no. You hear it? Let me let me let me put the spring in. Now put the wheel on and flip over. Okay. All right. All right. You're right. You are right. Mark. You're always right. All right. So then let's put the turning strut here. Adam uh, have you done this this much maintenance to your uh, to your bike? I don't think so. I feel like I'm uh, I'm I'm far from being a, a trike pro, but I've, I've done some pretty intense stuff. Show you a little bit. See this? This is the brake area. Check this out. This area is chamfered. You see that chamfer? The the brake is supposed to sit. On, on that chamfer perfectly, but I had to shave off a whole bunch of meat there in order for it to go. I went to a screening of the 1955 film Night of the Hunter on a Bumble date last night. It's such a good night, very cool. Mark, I'm just gonna put this all together just lightly so that I I don't want to have to, if this works, I don't want to have to tear all this stuff apart. I have a feeling that, yeah, actually, yeah. Adam has, has, a, has, a, has a real ism with regards to spokes. He's always replacing spokes. I'm, I have never had a bad spoke, but you have bad spokes, bad rims, bad da, 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 always something going wrong, buddy. I feel for you. I have different things that go wrong, I guess, just... Different strokes for different folks, huh? Come on, Matt. What the hell's going on here? There we go. Different spokes. Remember that show, Different Strokes? Adam's got different spokes.
It's been good since I entered the USA. So the, the roads in the USA are, are better than Canada? I would have thought the Canadian roads, but I guess they get a lot of, uh, they get a lot of salt and stuff in the winter, so try and ride in Detroit. It's, a, it's nasty. I feel this bolt is going on a little bit, a little bit harder than it should. I wonder if I, I'm just a little off on the threads. But it's going. Good, good. Okay, so that was it. You just had to get it fixed properly. Seems like you're always getting it fixed, though, Adam. <laughs> always like, I'm getting it fixed. And then the next episode, I'm getting it fixed. And then the next episode, I'm getting it fixed. But sometimes you just got to splurge and get really good quality rim, you know, good quality rim with good quality spokes, and they won't deal with the problems anymore. All right, I'm going to leave that a little loose. Same with this one, a little loose so the brake can float a little bit. Well, let's put the fender on real quick. It's nice that all of these are basically the same Allen key size, whatever this is. It's the second to the largest one I carry with me. Real quick, Mark, I'm sorry, I'm, I shouldn't do this. I should have just flipped it over, but whatever. Sorry. Vancouver, Canada is one of my favorite cities. Yeah, everybody seemed very cool there, man. Like, like really nice people you met. Is that the one where you went on the pub crawl? Was that Vancouver? Or was that in the States? I think that might have been on the States. Get it in between the brake pads. I won't worry about the brakes right now. So let's uh, just flip it over. I think I put it together wrong. No, 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 I didn't. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so. Uh, Mark, you still there? You still there, Mark? Spring, spring in the tube. Adjust the preload cap. And tighten it down just to, just then, yeah, okay. Same stuff, right? I'm not gonna put any new stuff in. So I'm gonna put the spring in. Spring. Then, oh, I'm doing the wrong side. The bad side's over there. So let's do the bad side first, just to make sure. Right, Mark? So, this is the bad side. We're gonna put the spring in. Then we're gonna put the elastomer fillers. There's one, two, three, four. Do, do you want me to put this in there too, or not? It was four elastomers and one of the plastics.
right? Whatever. Okay, same as the other side, okay? So then, uh, this goes on the outside edge here. This goes on the outside there. Then, uh, I think that's a good sign. Did you see that, Mark? It's giving me some, uh, some grief. Do you want, I put the, the uh, sheet here too, right? Just to give it a little protection from scraping, scratching on the sides, I think. Actually, that has to go deeper so that the elastomer, uh, okay. Wow, already feels a lot different. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, so what did I do last time? Last time, in order to keep that stem from coming out, I put the, uh, this here and this here, and I just tightened it temporarily so it wouldn't pull back. So I tighten it, it goes on, and that, sort of just holds the stem from sucking back in there. Just a little bit. So now I can actually, all right. Wow, I feel like uh, I spring here because I could actually thread it in. What do I gotta do here, Mark? I think I did this while it was upside down. So there is no pressure. I need to. Actually, I have a new one of these. I'm gonna get another a new one. Hold on. I have a I have a spare. And the threads on that one's a little bit screwed up, so I'm gonna swap it out. So this was the old one. You see me? We back? Are we back? All right, so let's see here again. Um, I need to extend that out. Okay, there we go. As long as I can, you know what I'm gonna do? I need to jam something in between. I need to jam something in here so that I can get some space, some surface area. Nothing too crazy. Here's a, here's a chopping block. I wonder if I can fit it in. No, that won't, that won't, that won't work. Hey, 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 no. Let's try that again. Whew. Oi, 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 I just need to catch a little bit. Come on. Fuck. If this wasn't here, I'd be able to get it in a little easier. Let me let me unfold it over. Now, let's try it again. 
Ready? Set. Go. Oi. 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 Come on. Oi. Oh. All right. Oh. Let's do that again. So I can spin it a little bit more. All right, all right. We got a thread now. Okay. Oh. I don't remember it being so difficult last time, but now we're good. So let's spin it. One. So we'll do 10 spins, right? One. Uh, two. What, my, uh, three, three turns? Okay, hold on, Marks. Not yet. I'm stopping. I'm waiting. I'm stopped. Give me a break. Take the mirror. Okay. Install the mirror. Okay. I think it's the wrong side mirror, but whatever. Then undo the clamp. Okay. I think this mirror might be, oh, oh that's the right mirror. Okay. Okay. Mirror is on tight. I'm gonna undo the clamp here a little bit. Oh. Then do up the mirror, okay. Then do up the mirror, it should pull everything up, then do the clamp. Okay, then do up the mirror, so. I got it, I understand what you're saying. Okay, now it's snug. Now do up the clamp, right? So now I'm gonna tighten the clamp down. Actually, yeah, do the clamp down, right? Okay. Now, undo the mirror, okay? Then pulls everything up flush, okay. But I still haven't pushed the, uh... oh, but now I can. Now I can, okay, okay, so now I'm gonna take the mirror off. I got it, Mark. You're a smart guy, Mark. Nobody ever tell you that? Anybody ever tell you that before? I think I've told you that before. Hey, there's my little cappy cap. Okay, so now we're gonna adjust it down, right? So we're around three turns. So four. Five, six, seven. It's getting tight. Eight. Try eight. You want to do eight or ten? What do you think, Mark? Ten? How many you want, Mark? What do you think? Eight for now. That's what I was thinking, too. Eight for now. I don't need to put the light on, right? It's fine. No need. Or, or do I put the mirror on? You want me to put the mirror back on or no, not necessary? I don't think it's necessary right now, but I'll put it on anyways. Bounce it up and down. That's what I was thinking. Ready for the moment of truth? Uh, let's see if... 
This was all pointless. Uh, ready? Holy shit, Mark. Oh boy. Oh. I hear a little bit of scraping. Does it sound better to you guys? Does it, does it, does it sound good? I feel like it's making a little bit of noise, but you might have to loosen and adjust, make sure it seats correctly. It can be a pain in the butt. It'll wear in time. I think so. Maybe over time it'll be better. Ta-da, yippee. There you go. It's, it's, it's like 80% better than it was. Like, really. Um, might just be because I, I just need to go through and make sure that, might just have been the boot. I'm gonna do the other side. You guys wanna hang out with me while I, while I finish this up? Um, I'm gonna do the other side the same way, Mark. And uh, actually, should I, this boot here, I'll worry about the boot later, whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the other side. Okay. Whoop. Okay, so we've got the spring in there. Then we got the four elastomer spacers. I see I see three. One. Two, three, where's number four? There it is over there, other side. Four, plastic. Uh, let's see here. The spring in the cap. Okay, guys, this is this side moves much, much smoother. You see that? That side, I had to crank the hell out of that thing. And this side is it's perfect. I can use my thumb to press it down. Still here with me? I mean, there's definitely a difference between this side and the other side. All right, first. Let's, let's do that together again, Mark, because uh, that was kind of neat, the way that you uh, showed me how to do that. With the, with the... Check this first. What bolt? Underneath? The, the bolt underneath? Where's my... Put the Allen key down into the tube. Okay. Fuck, I'm going to have to flip the trike over again. Let's do this again. Oh, oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, it's out. Okay. Oh. 
It's fantastic for my back. Okay. It's too deep. Uh, let's see here. I can't reach it. It's too far down there. I can't reach it, Mark. I can't reach it, it's too far down. Which is interesting, because the other side I think I could reach. You, you guys still there? Are we? Check and feel, is it the same on that side? I don't know, it seems odd to me. Too deep, golly, I have too many wonderful entendre for the moment. Everybody, this is a snarky white guy <laughs> being snarky. Put the Allen key down into the tube. Yeah, I can't, I can't reach it. Um, some of me might be this. Uh, let me take this off. Just as bottle holders getting away in the fender. And that's why I'm what I'm doing right now. I'm just there we go. Now I can turn it. Now I can depress this down farther. There we go. Now I'm touching it. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing, Mark. What am I doing this for? I really don't think any damage will happen. It just seems like the tolerance on the other side is tight. I think so too. Uh, I'm gonna put it back together, okay? So, but this one moves infinitely easier. I really don't think that, to check if it's tight like the other side. Check if what's tight, Mark. I mean, it's obviously tight because it's, it's, it's tied into the bolt on the bottom. So the, the bolt on the bottom is actually um, the bolt on the bottom is tight. Yeah, bolt on the bottom is very tight. Do you want me to undo the bolt on the bottom, Mark? No, it's not spinning. It's tight. Yeah. It's the same on the other side. Once it's seated, it's, it's not moving around at all. I think you, you had to have to tap it out, you know, in order to do, to do it. But, yeah, I think it seems good, too. So I'm going to put this on. I'm going to put that little ring on. I'm going to put this bad boy on there. Do this with me, Mark, okay? Uh, because the, the way that you had me put this on was quite cool, actually. So this will hold... The, um, the inner tube from, from going and backing down. I see the, the sheet is in there. Just pressed it at the bottom. Okay, that's in there. So we'll take one, two, three of the elastomer inserts one two three and then i tip over the trike here's number four now we're going to take the plastic spacer we'll put it in last now uh i gotta find the cap where did i put the cap the cap's right here now i've got to do this again so easy though this side's so easy to do that like Mark, it's, it's, a, it's incredible how much easier it is for me to get that, uh, it's already threaded. It's already fine. Crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, just to get the mirror on, four, five. Now we'll put the mirror, where's the mirror? Over here. So now I'm gonna put this on, right? And then uh, the mirror will pull up the inner components and bring that piston right up to where it's supposed to be. Lacus, uh, the other side is, is the, the, the um, piston, uh, the shock absorber is very, very tight. We just disassembled it if you're coming in late. It's almost like the suspension strut is putting more pressure on the other side, maybe. Okay, so now I'm gonna loosen up the clamp. And it's gonna release. Okay, that's cool, Mark. I was wondering how to do that. And uh, you just taught me, that's very cool, man. I think HP taught me how to do this a long time ago and I just forgot. So now, bring it up until it, until it's tight. Then you can tighten up the clamp. I think it's a lot better than it was though, guys, right? I wonder if he has a bent lower control arm? No, no, I don't think it has to do with that. Because it, 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 if I articulate it in my hand, you know, it'll still, uh, it'll still react differently than this side. I should tell HP to look at this video. So maybe they could tell me. HP would know exactly what it, what's going on. I sent him a few videos, uh, but this is actually quite in depth. Uh, maybe they could zoom, you know, scrub through this video as I'm making the repairs or making this, whatever, it's not really repair, but diagnosis. All right, so we'll take this off. Then we will, so we were on five, right? Six, seven, eight, eight. Now, see this? Oh man, it's a hundred times better though, Mark. I feel it's I feel it's very similar to that now Mark. I think it's good. Guys, not just Mark, everybody out there that's that's hanging out. This is what I do sometimes. Is I That noise is coming from this side. Oh shit. What did I just do? I'm gonna break my seat cover. You hear that noise? That's all coming from this side. But it's, you know what it sounds like? It just sounds like that spring. Not really noise, just air.
Sounds a lot better than it did. I'd good to go, I'd say too, huh? I'm gonna look at your comments. As long as it's not a scraping noise, it's not a scraping noise. Maybe something not aligned. I think it's good. I think it's good. Um, it sounds like my bed. Do you think I should? I, I want to have a little bit of a tighter suspension, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take them down a little bit more. Um, we'll go. How many more you want? Uh, eight. We'll go uh, three more turns. Just ride it till it breaks. What do you think, Mark? Three more turns? All right. Fuck, this is tight. Super tight. Oh. Do you see that? It's turning the whole unit. You think do a couple more turns. I can actually see the threads. I can count the threads. Okay, now it's going. Okay, I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. So now, I hope, I hope I didn't tear the threads out in there. I definitely tore some threads out with that. Okay, good. As long as I can get it started, it's good to go. I think you have too many spacers inside the spring. No, Mark, they, this, that's the way that the manual says how a 90 kilogram plus suspension should be set up. I actually paid more for this suspension. Um, it's the exact same that was in my old one. Four elastomers and one plastic topper. And if you read the manual on the page of, that, that talks about suspensions, it actually talks about, um, it talks about it. All right, so I'm gonna tighten this down. I'm gonna undo this clamp a little bit just to make sure that we're all, everything's up to the correct part. All right. Huh. It moved down a little bit. Yeah, they, they gave me extras, so I could actually um, tweak it if I wanted. Okay, so we'll put it there. I'll tighten this down. And then, uh, I don't know if I'm running too much lighter. I'm running fatter is what I'm running. Okay. This side's good. Let's go to the other side. Let me put the put the uh, stand up assist bar back up. I love these bars, man. These stand-up assist bars are amazing. They're designed for like elderly people, but shit, man, they're so useful. Not elderly people, but people that have problems getting up and down. Could be old or have a bunch of problems, I guess. I don't want to be a bigot. This is maybe one of my longer live streams. I think my longest live stream ever was the one I did in Okinawa. That one was a great live stream. I really enjoyed that one. That one was a lot of fun. 
until an old lady told me to get off the street. Get off the street. It's like I'm doing a live stream. Everybody's happy. People were walking around me all happy. Do you remember that one? They were so happy to see me. And then this old lady comes out of nowhere and says I need to move. I was sitting in front of a Starbucks for crying out loud. Old lady was a spoil sport, that's what she was. Come on, give me enough threads to bite onto it. Okay, there we go. The only problem with these stand-up assist bars is that they tear up the trike. I have this little uh, plastic, um, like, protector, but it doesn't do very good. Because I have to tighten these things down like incredibly tight otherwise they'll slide up slide over I'll like move around I have a position I really like them in the correct position is snarky still here I just I keep saying these things that are pun worthy and he's not making any comments right position if it's tight it ain't, if it ain't tight it ain't right okay okay this side is good Oh, so much better, guys. So much better. Do you guys know this logo right here? The Jiayo, but this is actually the Chinese writing for Jiayo. If you're Chinese, you can read that in, in the actual Chinese characters. Anybody here Chinese? Anson? Anson, are you Chinese? Okay. Whew, I'm tired. I haven't eaten any dinner. Can you read that then, Anson? Do you, can you read Chinese? You can see the, that the, you can see the both the Chinese characters, the Hansa and the, um, and the Jaya. <laughs> the Okinawa live stream was amazing. I really had fun. And then I, we drove, after that old lady yelled at us, actually it got better after the old lady yelled at us because I ended up, I ended up going down and uh, and I ended up riding uh, into the little market street. We saw that big ass lobster being being butchered. Okay, I did that in the wrong order. I should have I should have put the mirror on first. Whatever. Oh. I'm gonna put this down more. So what was it? Three more turns. One, two, three. Okay. Mark just messaged me. What did he say? Is that loose? Saying elderly people, what did I say? Did I say, yeah, is a bigotry now? Well, no, it's just that, uh, it's just that this is, uh, this trike is not the only design. You could have disabilities, you could be elderly, you could be perfectly healthy and just a little mental like me. It could be anything. So I'm going to do the same thing that Mark told me to do last time. Which is tighten it down, undo the clamp, or back off the clamp a little bit. And then the whole thing will sort of loosen up. Tighten it down. Wow, this is such a great, this is something I've, I have not done correctly for so long that uh, doing it correctly feels, it doesn't feel good to do something the right way. Like maybe, like I, I know that HP taught me how to do this right, but I forgot. And then Mark reminding me, oh, it feels good to do it right. It feels good. Okay. Should be good the way it is. 
Tighten it down a little bit more so it doesn't slump around. Tighten this down a little bit more so the mirror stays in place. All right, Gaswald, glad the suspension is uh, working sorted. Think as hopefully you get on your way. Oh, is Mark still here or is he gone? Three trees. That glucosamine is amazing. Mark, did you send me a personal message? What were you asking me about? Is that loose, you said? Everything's pretty good now, I think, right? Are we good to go? I'm gonna sit in this chair and see. Mark, do you want uh, That's the sound from the chair. I know that sound. But uh, the sound that should have, that was normally coming from this strut, I'm not hearing it. Look at that. That's my roll off. The new cables. Oh boy, that sounds so nice, doesn't it? Mark, do you want these uh, these struts now? Do you want me to send them to you? The ones that just broke down? Mark is a champion, my friend. Ba -ba -boom, ba -ba -boom. And he'll keep on advising till the end. Mark is in Australia, so if uh, if and when I do get to Australia, we are gonna we're gonna hang out. Uh, I will send these to you tomorrow, along with uh, that bag of goodies. And uh, yeah, do you want that blue sleeping mat, the one I showed earlier? If you want that, you can have it too. Uh, I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna probably either give it to this guy, my my friend at this house. I don't know if you'll use it, but uh, I could send it to you if you want it. I. I don't know. You want it? Oh, I'm tired. What time is it? What time is it? You have 4 oh. Okay, good. It's just extra weight to send anyways. What time is it right now? Feel feel like I am tired. Is it like 1 o'clock in the morning? It's not 1 o'clock in the morning. Victoria, okay. Matt later, check Facebook message pick. Okay, Mark, I will. Uh, love to see Mark in your videos. Cheers. Uh, coming to Cape Town, eventually warped space. But Cape Town's like seven years away. More than that, probably. Um, take a couple of weeks for glucosamine to work, but you notice a difference when walking downstairs. Three trees, I've been taking a thousand milligrams of glucosamine every morning. It is fantastic. Mark is a champion. Yes, he is. Matt, we must be both be crazy. Affiliated member, yeah. Good Lord, you're still live. Yeah, Mr. Big. Mark uh, and I and everybody here uh, went through my, uh, uh, my struts little by little, and we, we figured it out. I think you at Mark, you got it corrected. Oh, yes, remember you changing your chain in Northern Thailand. Wanted to cry or hit you, not sure which. Changing my chain? I, I had a lot of problems with my chain. You mean northern Vietnam. Vietnam. We need to get you a glucosamine endorsement. Got to get, got to go here. Get the, glad the suspension is good. Gaswall, okay. Misappropriate bicycles. Now get over people. We need to get back on my trike, correct? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm done looking at that. I'm going to go forward. One, okay, 1224, Randy. Randy, hey, hey. Everybody, Randy W., this is his house. Everybody say hello, Randy, and thank you for allowing Matt to stay here. Uh, we just uh, went through a mad, uh, um, mad uh, repetition on the trike. I had some problems. So here with trikes, we all put our heads together and we spent the last uh, few hours getting everything, uh, everything fixed. Really, really great. Yeah. So everybody give Randy a big hello and 
and thank you. If, if you guys want to stay here, he's going to be renting this place out as an Airbnb. It's, it's a very nice house. You might have to put up with his dog, though. Yes, I will clean up. I, have, uh, I didn't make much of a mess. Not this time. <laughs> but, you know, Randy has a camera here, so if he wants to, he can see the mess I've made in his house. And he can also see me on my hands and knees scrubbing the floor after every, every try. <laughs> Uh, you're in Guangxi? Oh, oh, that's not you? The picture looks like it might have been Randy and his wife. Oh, okay, sorry. Well, everybody say here, hi to Randy, either way. You know, um, Randy, like his last name is Williams, so Randy W. was very, very fitting. <laughs> okay, anyways, funny. That's so funny that your name is Randy W. Anyways, listen guys, I am tired and uh, I'm gonna clean up and get to bed. Man, I am really, really excited. Thank you, Mark, very much. Thank you everybody else for all your tips. It, was been, it has been a real pleasure to do this with you. We had a really nice podcast. We did the, you know, the beginning tour through the house and looking at my gear and then I'm glad we started this. I'm really glad we did this, Mark, everybody. Because it is, it's much better now. I don't exactly know what, what we did. What do you think we did, Mark? What do you think it was? 3 a.m., go to bed, Mark. <laughs> you deserve it. Everybody, take it easy. I'll catch you on another live stream. This has been uh, all good stuff. If you guys were uh, have trikes, this might have been something uh, useful for you to know. So take it easy, guys. Jayo, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Thank you. Thanks again. Bye-bye.